All right, the next SCP is SCP-2244, also known as Partition E. They just sent a picture of it. Well, what was given. Okay, I, I've been... I've been seeing too many fucking fascists on Twitter. I deadass thought you just sent a picture of a black sun. Oh my god! For like a split second. <laughs> I need to get off Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm off Twitter for like about, oh, for about like five days. Well, I'll be so looking, but I, I got I got locked out. Uh, oh, you I... got locked out. Mm -hmm. you well, I got locked. Out? My my uh... account, my account got locked. Hatchet, hatchet, hatchet. Okay, hmm? I decided to take a quick look at the description. The first thing I saw was sunset. <laughs> and so when you said black sun, I started thinking that again. Because it's so sunset. God damn it. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, so after Hedget talked about the image with the black sun, I looked at the description. The first things my eyes saw was the word sunset in the description of the anomaly. But yeah, I guess that's why I haven't seen I don't know doing much on there. I literally can't. Yeah, but apparently since this anomaly is in Miami, Florida. Got locked for calling a fascist. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, gotta love one of the most gotta love one of the most prolific social media sites being owned by a fucking Nazi. Anyways, you ready for S SCB twenty two forty four? Yeah, go go ahead. Let's Let's take our minds off of real-world awfulness and back onto fictional awfulness. Yeah. All right. SCP-2244-1 is a four-story office building located on Redacted in Miami, Florida, belonging to the Sunset Community Foundation. A registered 501c3 nonprofit organization providing technological components and computer skills training to unprivileged individuals. Prior to Redacted 2014, this organization does not exist. Despite this, all records pertaining to the SCF indicate they have existed in Miami, Florida since 1971 and include legitimate registration and tax-exempt application forms as well as grant records maintained by other businesses, organizations, and corporations. Instances of SCP-2244-2 are employees of, of the Sunset Community Foundation. All observed instances appear to be human females between the ages of 14 and 70. No instances of SCP-2244-2 can be accounted for prior to 2014, nor appear to have any roots in the community, nor any records of birth, residence, or home ownership. None of these employees have been observed residing at any location other than SB 2244 1 for a period of, of time exceeding three to four hours. Subjects have additionally proven to be immune to all forms of amnestics possessed of abnormal strength and speed, and if constant to otherwise restrained, will become catatonic and unresponsive for a period of 30 to 180 seconds before abruptly disappearing. While not hostile, SV-2244-2 subjects have constantly refused all entry to SV-2244-1 and have refused to answer questions regarding their company. In either a formal or informal context, attempts by agents to trail or and or befriend subjects have been unsuccessful in yielding any information. Instead, Foundation personnel on Site 6... 9-2 are limited to outside observation of the building. All windows display unoccupied offices and are sealed shut, disallowing any further observation deeper into the building. 
All entryways into SCP-2244-1 are locked or otherwise guarded by instances of SCP-2244-2. As of October 30th, 2014, SCP-2244-2 subjects have become aware of the Foundation's surveillance and inquiry attempts following Incident 008A8A. Subjects have allowed brief interviews with Foundation personnel to answer questions relating to the safety and security of their work, although little else has been dis discussed. Right, you're you're pointing, you're cutting out quite a bit. God damn it, Discord! Uh. Fucking, fucking hate Discord. Anyways. Discovery on Redacted 2014. Location of Redacted, which had previously been unoccupied residence, was replaced with SCP-2244-1. Due to a lack of eyewitnesses or video surveillance in the area, the incidents cannot be pinpointed to an exact time. Physical evidence of SCP-2244-1 itself, as well as Sunset Community Foundation, appeared to exist prior to 2014 in multiple locations, both inside and outside of the United States. Review of Foundation documentation regarding SCP Redacted, which had previous, previously been data expunged due to its memetic effects, revealed the two businesses investigated between 2005 and 2007 by the Foundation did not, in fact, contain documentation regarding to SCF. Where post-2014 records show donations made to the SCF preserved pre-2014 records show no such donations made. Incident 008A8A on Redacted 2015, Foundation surveillance cameras monitoring SCP-2244-1 abruptly lost power. Uh, lost power. At the same time, personnel on site reported that SCP-2244-1 had momentarily disappeared and reappeared as a larger building. Prior to this event, SCP-2244-1 was a two-story building occupying redacted square meters, after which it became a four-story building occupying redacted square meters. Within several, several hours, SCP-2244-2 subjects began to cover the building in tarps and brought construction equipment and vehicles on site to mask the sudden change. Following this event, a group of SCP-2244-2 subjects approached on site for sale and offered current assurances that SCP-2244-1 was in no way dangerous nor an exposure risk. And that the de decision to change was out of their hands, they refused to elaborate further. Although one subject made the offhand remark, People up top say they want this shiny, fast new upgrade, not caring that it will be too sudden. Then complain that the shiny, fast new upgrade is too sudden all at once. Addendum An attempt to inf infiltrate SV2244 1 was made by an, an agent on Redact. 2015, wearing a concealed audio transmitting device in coronation <sighs> with three more agents on site and site administrator redacted. The agent described encountering SV-2244-2 subjects standing motionless in each room, unaware of the agent's presence. The agent dis discovered several conscious subjects and managed to successfully transmit a sample of conversation between subjects prior to being discovered. The agent has yet to be recovered. Site Administrator Redacted refused to provide an explanation for this operation and subsequently submitted their resignation. They were replaced by Administrator Lee, starting Redacted 2015. Log 2015 Note Signal experienced significant interference suggesting the presence of some manner of electronic countermeasure within SV2244-1. Recorded subjects have not been identified and, and are identified as subject-1-2, etc. 
Subject 1. Yeah. Subject 2. Indistinct was started. She couldn't do anything else. Unidentified laughter. Subject 1. That's entirely not my problem. Subject 3. You keep saying that, but someone will make it your problem. Subject 1. I only handle partition E. Indistinct can't, can't go home otherwise, so why is it any of my business? Subject 2. People could die. Subject 1. People always die. Ask them if they're if they're tired try turning it off and on again. Subject 2. I'm just saying. Subject 4. On, off, on, off. Sub note, subject 4 continues repeating this for the duration of the recording. Subject 3. Indistinct. Subject 1. There are years lost because they couldn't be asked to do five-year backups, like I said. You couldn't you can't be giving them our people. What what year do they have to start from? Like 1984? Subject 4. Uh, subject 2, sorry. Indistinct. Subject 1. Glad I'm not them. Indistinct. Few decades. Subject 5. Does partition C or D have people watching them all the time like we do? Subject 2. It's the same planet. Subject 5. That doesn't mean all the partitions are the same. Subject 2. Are you sure? I thought it. I don't know. At this point, the agent is discovered and the transmission is severed. And that's it. I'm pretty confused about what this thing does. I think the main reason why it's a key is we have no idea if it's dangerous or not. Like, at all. Because how secret it is. Wait, so there are more of these buildings all over the place? Yeah, so it's like some anonymous, an anomalous mm -hmm. computer company that just shows up places. And it's making it's, something. It's, it's making something that apparently can kill people. Yeah. Uh, book said they're eating people. <laughs> I don't think that's true. And their employees, if you restrain them, will peace out. Yep. Will just vanish. And can just instantly upgrade their building. This is a hard one to quantify again. Because we don't really know much at all. Book says, wait, I think we live in a simulation. <laughs> <laughs> this is a video game world like Sims. Oh my god. Just instant upgrades to their if business this buildings. Is, uh, game, if this game world is it if if this world is a simulation, then there's where's the same sim simlish? I think one of my favorite things I've seen people point out is, um, you know how, like, uh, when we create fictional worlds, it's very commonly because, like, like in contrast to the mundane of our world, right, like fantasy and stuff, someone mentioned, if that's the case, then how boring is the world that's simulating our world? Oh. Like, like to that world, this, this is escape, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's... <laughs> but anyway. Um. I don't know, we know that it's gonna hurt some people. It's hard to contain, and it's really weird. The world that would simulate us is an even worse off capitalist hellscape. Yeah. The world that's simulating us is fucking Dune. Yeah. Their fantasy is... Wait, let's go back. Um... I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm thinking either what the fuck tier or certain group.
I mean, it's just bothering Florida for the moment. It's just bothering Florida, so maybe we should give it spood tea. No. <laughs> Florida lives matter. <laughs> Florida True. Lives matter. But also Florida. <laughs> And maybe somewhere else that we don't know of. Oh yeah, speaking of Florida, apparently someone stole someone's, uh, domesticated alligator and released it into the wild. Oh! I think I heard about that. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm thinking, like, where would y'all want to put it? I'm thinking either certain group or what the fuck. I'm too confused to put it in a certain group kind of category. Like, I don't know what the it, danger is. Yeah, it's just... It's just fucking... The fucking weird part, like, computer company. I guess, I, I guess we could put it in, like, a country, given the fact that it's a computer company, which means it's uh, being... Well, we don't uh, know the danger, but we do know there is a danger. We don't know how large scale it would be if they decided to use the the danger thing. Yeah. We don't know what they're doing. But I was going to make the statement, there are a computer companies, so they are affecting some countries in the form of slave labor. Oh, God. But that's a more mundane threat to people. It's it's not anomalous, it's just fucked. Uh I I'd put it in what the fuck tier. Hey. Like we, we don't have a way to quantify how much harm it could cause. Other than it can kill people, which is like okay, I can kill someone with a pencil. Does that make all pencils dangerous? Oh my god. I love how Hedge is getting all the, the ones that they're probably going to laugh while reading. Wait, are you saying that after the last one they read before this one? Or, yeah. Not the, are because... you saying that after the, the first one Hatchet read was like this terrible alternate timeline bullshit? Yeah, because the XSP, they got is SB2271, a.k.a. Factory Loans. Oh. <laughs> oh. I already posted a link. Yeah. How do you actually, like, tell the um nicknames of these things? Oh, because before you actually click on the number, the nickname will be right next to the number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because its nickname is not actually on the document. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, SCP-2271. Why am I reading it like that? Okay. SCP-2271 is a poorly understood phenomenon currently affecting small populations in the American Midwest. SB2271 manifests directly as plain white envelope as a plain white envelope containing a letter detailing collections on a student loan account. <laughs> While the envelope and letter are themselves not anomalous, the manner in which they are delivered are, and as such, they have been jointly classified as SCP-2271-1. 2271 takes effect on an individual in three distinct steps, each categorized by a regression of the sus subject's mental state, as well as aggression on the part of entities classified as SCP-2271-2 instances. The steps are as follows. Phase one, initial exposure. Subject, subject receives a personalized version of SCP-2271-1 Typically, this occurs through regular postage routinely received by the subject, although 
this can take place through a variety of different avenues. SCP-2271-1 instances have been found slind, slind, slind. Yeah, that's that word. Have been found slid under doorways, inside of locked rooms, within articles of clothing, and in one case, within the excrement of a prisoner in solitary confinement. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Just get out a fucking a fucking envelope. Are you All okay? In- I, I, that, that grossed me out briefly. All instances of SCP-2271, it will fucking, uh, 2271 refer to a factory financial management group and provides phone numbers and addresses used to contact the company. To date, none of these numbers or addresses have shown any indication of being afflicted with the company, affiliated, not afflicted, affiliated with the company in question or any group whatsoever, but if used to mail a package or make a phone call, will result in some kind of communication with the company. Packages do not require a mail carrier. Applying an address label of some kind will result in the parcel disappearing shortly afterwards. The individual receiving the instance of SCP-2271-1 does not need to open the envelope or read the letter to be affected. As soon as they receive the 2271-1, they become an instance of 2271-A. Uh, Payment of debt is phase two. In 100% of all recorded cases, the letter within SCP-2271-1 will demand payment of a monetary amount that absolutely cannot be repaid, even if the subject had access to the total amount of all of Earth's liquid assets. During the second phase, 2271-A subjects universally become extremely agitated and obsessed with the repayment of the amount owed. Subjects will begin to sell all their personal belongings and assets and attempt to mail the collected cash to an address listed on their letter, or call the company and make a credit transaction. Attempting to hinder 2271-A subjects from making these payments will often lead to violent outbursts by the subject. Subjects will aggressively maintain that they must meet an impossible repayment schedule or face consequences from the collection agency. During this phase, 2271-A instances will begin to claim that they can see unclear humanoid entities on the edge of their vision, which are fast moving and clouded in thick smoke. Just about said Snoke, been watching Star Wars. No other distinguishing characteristics have been reported. These entities have been classified as SCP-2271-2. So it makes them start selling everything they own. Phase 3, liquidation of assets. During the final phase of of affliction, 2271-A will begin to dramatically... Excuse me. So, uh, will begin to dramatically sell off the remainder of their perceived belongings in order to pay off their debt. During this and the previous phases, and during the previous phases, 2271-A instances will receive additional instances of 2271-1 or dash one as updates to the status of their debt repayment. In no reported cases has the amount ever the amount owed ever decreased. SCP-2271-A instances have been observed shipping the remainder of their material possessions, the possessions of those around them, their teeth, hair, excrement, blood, and other bodily fluids, pets, children, spouse, slash close relatives, 
and finally, with no other alternatives, the remainder of their own body. There's a footnote. Often uh, a footnote on the children, spouse, close relatives uh, says, often these individuals have been brutalized and arranged in such a way that would result in more efficient packaging and shipping. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, the behavior will continue until the subject expires or is no longer capable of making payments, after which they will disappear after the second missed payment. SCP-2271-A subjects who are restrained from making payments mm. will claim that the instances of 2271-2 that had previously existed only on the edges of their vision will become more prominent and threatening and begin to repossess items themselves. These claims are corroborated by observation of the subject and the belongings in question, which will begin to disappear if the subject does not personally make payments. 2271-2 instances have not been photographed, but thermal surveillance has has ascertained that there is always a significant drop in local temperature whenever 2271-A subjects claim that dash two instances are near, often as much as 25 degrees Celsius. That's a sharp drop. 2271-A subjects are universally in a state of constant fear regarding SCP-2271-2 instances and will show immense hesitation to avoid any stimuli that they relate, well, immense hesitation to avoid. Okay, will show immense hesitation to avoid any stimuli that they relate to dash two, including the sound of metal on metal, fire, strong wind, and a smell of burning rubber and petrol. Addendum 2271-1 discovery the scp the scp 2271 phenomena was first discovered in the town of redacted nebraska after local law enforcement seized res ceased responding to attempts at communication by all outside groups foundation agents were mobilized to the town where they discovered that despite signs of particularly graphic violence and struggle the entire population had disappeared the first instance of SCP-2271-1 was discovered during this investigation, albeit unknowingly, by the late agent Sandra McCoy during the sweep of an abandoned home in the area. Two days later, another report surfaced of a family of fanatics in nearby redacted Nebraska who had sold all their possessions and then violently attacked their elderly neighbors. Foundation personnel arrived on the scene and managed to apprehend the sub subjects. It was during this initial investigation that SCP-2271-1 and-2 were originally classified. However, during Foundation occupation of redacted, several other members of the primary containment team became affected by 2271, as well as a large number 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 blah, 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 number of townspeople. This situation soon became unmanageable, and all unaffected personnel were ordered to move back to a five-kilometer perimeter and wait for further instructions. The situation resolved after two weeks, with all affected personnel had either disappeared, expired, or become too incapacitated to continue making payments. The remaining inhabitants of Redacted were amnesticized and held for observation, then transported to Spain with different identities. The town itself was demolished as was Redacted. Incident report, uh, 3rd of January, 2014. On 3rd of January, 2014, Overwatch Command received a distress call from Site-91, the previous holding facility of all individuals contained in relation to 2271. After the initial site, after the initial call, Site-91 staff did not respond for an additional eight hours, during which NTF-Alpha-1 Red Right Hand 
was mobilized due to the remote location of Site 91. If I remember correctly, isn't that the MTF unit that's directly under the control of the O5 Council? Yes, and our main mission is to basically protect O5 Council at all costs and only go after anomalies that are, cause extreme danger to the world. That's it. Okay. Yeah, anyways. All right. Was mobilized due to the remote location of Site 91. MTF A1 was not able to reach Site 91 before it suddenly detonated its on site nuclear device. In the wake of this event, it was discovered that Site 91 had set one additional, or had sent one additional message, time stamped only two minutes before the detonation. Of the on-site nuclear device, the message, a single scanned image, was sent with no additional explanation. Investigation into this incident is still ongoing. And that is the rest of it. Oh, wait. Received. Uh, let's see. Uh, the image next to that is received at site uh, 01 on that date. So, uh, the message that they sent out was the financial, or the factory financial management thing with a whole bunch of markers scribbled over it, and the words, there's a place in hell for debtors and a whole ginger size. Uh. Uh. You always get the fun ones to read, don't you, Hector? Damn. Well, I, yeah, Damn. I, uh, yeah. What a fun one to read. Yeah, one where the red right hand had be called. And they're serious. They they only get sent out for serious ones. I mean, yeah, it caused a massive containment breach. That, this and is like... the entire population disappeared, too. Yeah. So, I guess that's the thing. Can uh, dash one instances be spread and affect people over stuff like the internet? Oh god, I don't know. If it can be, then this is an easy XK. Well, maybe that's why they had to, to scribble it out when they sent it, sent it over. That might be possible, yeah. So, up to the containment, maybe, if left unchecked, can be bad. Oh yeah, let me let me actually look at the containment procedures. Um, special containment procedures. Woman seventy one is unable to be directly contained. Current indirect containment efforts focus on mitigating damage caused by the anomaly to affected individuals and communities. Foundation Task Force MU fourteen Forgive and Forget is currently spearheading efforts to contain it. Although the effects of 2271 are believed to be irreversible. Evidence has shown that removing affected individuals from large populations and isolating them decreases the rate at which the population as a whole is affected. Additional Foundation Mobile Task Forces have been utilized to quickly separate affected individuals from their families and move them to high security containment at Site 91. I guess, oh, and that's crossed out because I think it was Site 91 that got fucked up. Yeah, wait a minute, I just realized. Yeah. It, it says it said less population, less likely to spread an infection. So if this decided yeah, to be this... sent in New York of all places? Yeah, if, if this gets sent into a high density population, we're mm -hmm. like, this is. Oh, gods. This is. Any and all. Yeah. Uh, let's see, any, uh, any and all. Foundation personnel who have become affected by 2271 are to be considered KIA. Under no circumstances are affected Foundation personnel to come in contact with any other unaffected Foundation personnel after mm. responses are to be or self-termination resources are to be supplied to these personnel as requested. So literally the only way that they can handle it is catch it early yeah this is 
actually terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a funny Keter. No, we need to be terrifying. <laughs> oh, so it spreads between affected individuals. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like it can, uh, it will spread between affected individuals based upon like some of those uh, instances in Nebraska. Yeah. Just monitor the financial records of every person on Earth easy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what would be funny, though? Because it, it eventually causes people to disappear, right? Yeah. What if it was sent in into the 610 site? The 610 instance was to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the thing. Does this not, like... Does this anomaly affect things other than humans? Right. Because, like, I feel like at that point, 610 isn't really human anymore. Not fully. I mean, they uh. gained some sapience because they developed a sort of religion. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're human. Yeah. Get that anthropocentric thinking out of your brain, right? Yeah, just six ten fighting off a horde of smoky debt collectors. <laughs> I like to I see. Fight to see. Well, you gotta keep in mind, like we can't see them, so it'd basically just be watching a bunch of, like, gross ass six one instances flailing at nothing. <laughs> that would be kind of funny, yeah. Yeah. Um. Ah, fuck. I doubt that this could get to the level of country. Yeah. Or continent. I guess that depends, because some countries are literally just one city. But barring that, I would probably say city. Yeah, the second I saw a red right hand in the document, I was like, okay, this is getting bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is every, I, everyone in agreement with City? I I think that's probably the most appropriate. Yeah. It, that that is of course assuming that the anomalous effects can't be spread over the internet. If it could be spread over the internet, then that's an easy XK. Oh yeah. But it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like you have to come into contact with either a dash one instance or. Uh, a person who's infected by it. Yeah. Yeah, by the time it gets to city level, it should be noticeable. Yeah. And, like, at that point, it's either, like, completely bar people from going into the city, or just drop a nuke on it. Either way. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> that one was heavy. Yeah. Anyway, the moral of the story is, um, fuck debt collectors. That's all. Wait, I just realized, how'd you just get, I get, like, the more calmer keeters. How'd you get, like, the really fucked up ones? <laughs> you just noticed that? Yeah. My well, goodness, was in response to that just luck. <laughs> Well, I mean, the alt timeline wasn't particularly fucked. It's not affecting our world in a particularly fucked way. Oh my god. About people who see the biography. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Probably gonna be the final anomaly of the night, depending on how, how long it is. Uh, okay. SCB-2276. Too many grace. What? <laughs> That's his nickname. And that's the Too picture I got from it. Okay. <clears throat> Why did you just send an equal sign in your own chat randomly? I did not mean to hit... I think when I hit enter, because I use equal sign for my mute, when I hit enter, I think it put that in both the Twitch chat and Discord. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, well.